Hi guys, welcome sa Sip Line. In this video ay uh, magsisimula tayo ng panibagong series, no? Sa series na to, uh, pag-aaralan natin yung uh, conversion ng units, no? Kasama diyan yung length, volume, uh, weight, uh, and of course yung conversion between metric and uh, English systems, no? So sa video na to, ang una muna nating i-discuss ay uh, metric length, no? And bago tayo makapag-convert, dapat familiar tayo sa mga uh, conversion factors. No? Halimbawa, yung 1 kilometer is 1,000 meters. Ang 1 meter ay 100 centimeters. Ang 1 centimeter ay uh, 10 millimeters. Okay, so yan lang yung sinulat ko kasi yan lang naman yung kailangan natin dito sa uh, problems natin. So, how do we convert 1 and 2 tenths kilometer to meters? No? Una, uh, isulat muna natin yung 1 and 2 tenths kilometers. Tapos, lalagyan lang natin siya ng denominator na 1. So, gagawin natin siyang fraction. Now, the reason kung bakit natin siya gagawing fraction ay imumultiply natin siya sa fraction din na conversion factor no So magmo-multiply tayo ng conversion factor and remember kilometers to meter tayo ang gusto natin na unit ay meters at uh, ibig sabihin gusto natin mawala itong kilometers Since this is multiplication mawawala yan pag nilagay natin siya dito sa denominator ng isang fraction kasi makaka-cancel yan di ba pag nag-multiply. Now, dalawa lang naman yan, kilometers to meters, meaning, pag kilometers na yun sa baba, meters na yun sa itaas. Na pag napwesto na natin yung unit, no, uh, titignan na natin yung conversion factor. Yung kilometers, ang naka-associate sa kanya na number ay 1. So, ilalagay natin yung 1 kilometer. Tapos yung meters, ang naka-associate na number sa kanya ay 1,000. Okay? And, pag nag-multiply tayo, pwede natin i-cancel yung kilometers. That's 1 and 2 tenths times 1,000 meters, which is equal to 1,200 meters. Yung denominator is 1 times 1, which is 1. And 1,200 meters divided by 1 is just 1,200 meters. So, hindi na natin kailangan yung 1 sa iba pa. Oh, remember, pag nag-multiply kayo ng 1,000, diba, i-move nyo yung, ano, yung uh, decimal point ng tatlo, di ba? 1, 2, 3. So, magdadagdag kayo ng dalawang zero, kaya siya naging 1,200 meters. Next, we have, uh, oh, before tayo mag-proceed sa susunod na uh, question, bakit posible itong operation na ito? Bakit tayo nag-multiply ng, ng fraction? Hindi ba siya nababago? No? At what's the reason behind kung bakit pwede natin itong gawin, itong operation na ito? No? Now, the reason is, nung nag-multiply tayo sa 1,000 meters over 1 kilometer, di ba equal lang naman yan yung 1,000 meters at 1 kilometer? So, ibig sabihin, pag equal yung numerator at denominator, parang 5 divided by 5, di ba, is just equal to 1. No? Para ka nag-multiply ng 3 times 5 fifths. This is just 3, no? Because this is equal to 1. So, actually, technically, nag-multiply lang tayo ng 1 dyan. Wala tayong binago dun sa 1 and 2 tenths kilometer. Binago lang natin yung unit niya. Okay, so hopefully may liwanag, no? Next, we have 48 meters to kilometer. So, ganun din, 48 meters divided by 1. And then, we multiply by meters yung nasa ibaba kasi ayaw natin yung meters, di ba? Gagawin na natin siyang kilometers. So, this is kilometers. And again, looking at the conversion factor, yung kasama ng kilometer ay 1 at yung kasama ng meters ay 1,000. So, we multiply. Cancel ito. 48 times 1 kilometer is 48 kilometers. And 
1 times 1,000 is just 1,000, which means that this is equal to 48,000 with a TH kilometer. Okay, so again, um, just review yung division by 1,000. Yung pinaka shortcut is you move uh, the decimal point three places to the left, no? Pag division. Next, we have 23 and 4 tenths centimeter to meters. So this is 23 and 4 tenths. Divide ko ulit sa 1. Ayaw ko ng centimeters, so lagay ko yung centimeters sa baba. Meters ang gusto ko, so lagay ko yung meters sa taas. Para makancel. And alam po na, tignan natin yung conversion ng, conversion factor ng meters tsaka centimeters. 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Makakancel ito. 23 and 4 tenths times 1 meter is just 23 and 4 tenths meter divided by 100 kasi 100 times 1 is 100 so this is equal to move two decimal places to the left magiging 234 thousands meter siya. So yun kasi yung tamang basa, baka nagtataka kayo, no? Uh, 0.234, no? Well, sa labas, pag hindi kayo nag-aaral, okay lang yun, pero pag nag-aaral kayo, usually yun ang nire-require, no? 234 thousands, no? 23 and 4 tenths, no? Baka nagtataka kayo dun sa basa ko. Alright, so last we have 15 centimeters to millimeter. So again, we have 15 centimeters divided by 1. And then we multiply by, ayaw natin ang centimeters, gusto natin millimeters. And millimeters. And sa conversion factor, 1 centimeter ay 10 millimeters. So 1 centimeter ay 10 millimeters we cancel this magiging 150 millimeters over 1 which is equal to 150 millimeters okay so yung mga sagot we have uh, 1200 we have 48 uh, thousands we have 234,000 with TH and we have 150. Okay, so that's it. Sana maliwanag. Uh, wag nyo kalimutang mag-subscribe sa channel natin kasi we will have more examples in the next video. Sa so, susunod, paano pag centimeters to kilometer naman? So, yan yung i-discuss natin, yung may laptop. Alright, I'll see you in the next video.